Today on Tying Tips, I'm going to show you how to set an L-Care caddis wing, which has always perplexed me because I've never used L-Care in my life. I don't know how it ever started out with that, but even short fine, or not short fine, but yearling elk, for me it still doesn't work. I just, I don't like it. I use Comparadon hair, uh, I use short fine deer hair, white tailed deer hair on all mine and it's a lot easier and you get a lot more material you get lots of little fibers as opposed to a few bigger ones but mostly it's just the quality of the hair is better and so what i've got here is and, and by the way an elk hair caddis uh you can use hackle on them if you want i think it's a superior fly if you don't uh for me what i think it represents when they have the elk and hair is vibration which is you know sometimes that's cool i i just prefer not to have um uh, hackle through mine but that's just personal what i've got here is an x caddis essentially this is my version of it it's just a trailing shuck of z line uh, super fine dubbing body and the only difference between the x caddis and the zx caddis the way i do it is i leave that that trailing shuck forward until I, I i dub up and then i lay it back as a little wing an underwing generally I use a little bit brighter color um, this was i just i wanted to contrast so you could see the wing better so i used dark so uh and then johnny told me i have to use this brighter this is just bleached white tail uh compared on here and i'm going to show you how to do this and by the way when we do this wing you never ever trim it that's a punishable by caning to use scissors on the head of an elk hair caddis. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and when we do this, we're gonna have probably two or three times the flotation value because this little starburst head we're gonna make with this is actually gonna do something. When you see people trimming on their, their head, they, they're sitting there doing this, they get the shortest hairs at the top, and there's only a few scraggly ones in the bottom. We're gonna make a really pretty floatable head, and it's super fast. To do this point of the fly, it shouldn't take you more than 35, 45 seconds, maybe a minute to get to where you are right here. So I'm gonna take some of this short, fine, bleached, elk, or uh, white tail, excuse me, compare done here, and I stood it up, I don't know if you saw, I stood it up so it was nice and level. So basically, I wouldn't even have to stack this hair. You can see that it's nice and clean. I'm still gonna stack it because by the time I clean up the hair, and you have to clean the hair. You, you've got to get this under fur, and this is great hair, but it's still got a little bit of under fur in it, and so I need that to go away, because that's what stops you from setting your wing. It has really very little to do with your thread strength, whether you set a wing properly or not. If you, if you clean the hair and you get it where it belongs, any thread will go through. You can put a right amount of tension, and it's all about the tension. You're gonna use two turns, and that's it on this hair. So I've cleaned it out. <clears throat> now I'm gonna put it in my little stacker. This is the J. Nick stacker. I love these things. I'm gonna tap this down, and this is why I like it. I can tip that thing up, and I can see that the hair is exactly where I want it. Bingo. And so it's a one-hander, I just let it go. And I'm gonna use, the hook is my gauge, is my measurement tool and I want the wing to be about the length of the body. Not the overall, on an elk hair caddis, or, or a caddis, I like it to be the body length. I don't count the hook. So I'm gonna set it up here. I'm gonna get the length of the body. I'm gonna transfer hands. I'm gonna twist my thread to the right so that when I lay it up there, it folds against my hand. I'm not gonna fight it. See how it lays against my hand? And that's a simple trick. All you gotta do is spin it clockwise. Spin it to the right zoom and it'll lay back over if you spin it to the left it'll lay the other way so i'm going to take this i've already gauged it and i'm going to make a nice clean cut super clean very short and i'm about i'm just about four turns back from the eye i'm going to lay that thread in there and i'm going to hold the the hair in my left hand and you'll see i start to pull until the thread starts to disappear into the hair all right i'm pulling down i put my second one and i pull straight down all right, it's straight down. You can see now I've got this really bulbous little head here. So I'm gonna tighten this back up. Come in here, whip finishing it. What you're gonna see is you've got this pretty little head. It's, it's laying back and every one of those fibers is exactly the same length. So instead of going here and trimming it, now I've created this little sunbeam head 
And what I'm going to get out of that is probably two to three times the flotation because every one of the hairs is sitting there like this perfect little bobber. It's going to make it a super floatable fly. Hope that helps you out.